Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So if I go to YouTube guys and search for cat boost, right? Then you will see that the second thing that is being searched is cat boost versus XT boost versus light GPM. Not only here, people are separately searching cat boost versus XT boost. So why these algorithms are searched so much and what is the side by side comparison? What are we going to learn today is the primary differences between CAD boost, XG boost, and light GBM. Okay. In terms of important thing that these algorithm does. If you have not watched my last videos, it's absolutely fine. I will give you a high level view of how these algorithms are different. Okay. Then I'm going to show you the Python code, how to implement this algorithm and how to tune some of the important parameters. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you the final verdict, which algorithm you should use in what kind of situation and why you should use those algorithms. So guys, though all these three are important boosting algorithms that we as a data scientist must know. These algorithms are very, very important for winning competitions in hackathons and you know industry as well. So this video might be a little long guys, but it will be informative just in your to watch till end. First of all, guys, I will start with the primary differences between these three algorithms. Okay. So let me create a table kind of thing here. I will just say cat boost. I will just say here light GBM, light GBM, and I will say here extreme gradient boost. Okay. Now, you know, already know that all three are boosting algorithm. Boosting algorithm means it works on the principle of combining multiple models together, right? So one model will, uh, you know, residual of one model will go as input to other model as target and so on and so forth. But what is different? What is different here? The very first difference in terms of how the decision tree is created. Okay, so this is an interview question also. People will ask you how, how decision tree is different in these three algorithms, okay? So in CAD boost guys, remember decision trees are symmetric trees, okay? Symmetric trees. In light GBM, the decision trees grow leaf wise, okay? And in XGB, the decision tree grows normal depth wise, okay? Now let me tell you quickly what is the difference between these three. Suppose this is your decision tree, okay? And one split happens like this. Okay, and another split happens like, let's say this node splits here and this splits here and this splits here and this splits here. Okay, so what is the meaning of symmetric tree is both these nodes at the same level. For example, this node and this node will use the same splitting condition. For example, here if the condition is salary greater than 12, then here also the condition will be salary greater than 12. Okay and all these four nodes are at same level. So same thing applies here. All these four nodes will use same breaking principle if it has to break further. This is nothing but your symmetric tree, okay? Now, what is a leaf wise growth? Leaf wise growth is something like this is your tree and at one time, both the leaves will not grow. For example, this is your first leaf and this is your second leaf, right? So one of these two leaves will grow. For example, let's say in the next iteration, the right hand, right hand side leaf grows, okay? So it will be like this, okay, like this. Now in the next iteration, only one leaf can grow. So which means either this can grow or this can grow or this can grow. It will depend on what is, getting, what is giving the maximum gain. Okay, again, in terms of, you know, loss function and all those things. So this is a leaf wise growth. If you see it is not depth wise, it is not symmetric. So only one leaf is growing at a time. Okay, and what is depth wise growth? You already know, normal decision tree you can consider. This breaks, this breaks on different condition, this may break on different condition and so on and so forth. Okay, now you might be thinking, which of these is best? So we don't know based on the huge case, but the thing is, how decision tree is different between cat boost, between light GBM and between XG boost. Point number one, very important to understand. Point number two, when somebody asks you what is the difference between these three, second point is how categorical variables are uh, handled in cat boost 
in light gbm and in xc boost in cat boost i had explained in the last video in much detail right so there is a fancy way of handling right that is called ordered encoding okay ordered encoding categorical variable encoding target based encoding that is a altogether separate approach okay if you come to light gbm the approach can be bin based or you know uh, bucket based you can say these kind of approaches for handling categorical variable in extreme gradient boost there is no specific defined way to handle categorical variable i will show you in python now um you have to create it into your one hot vectors and then only you can send it whereas in cat boost and in light gbm if you say my variable number 2 is a categorical variable then that is automatically taken care by the algorithm okay but in xgb you need to encode and then send difference number 2 okay difference number 3 is how the sampling is done okay sampling means when multiple trees are created right then how the data sample is chosen so here i told you in cat boost in cat boost video i told you uh, minimum variance sampling is there uniform is there different different ways of doing this okay and here in light gbm you can have a specific technique known as gradient one side sampling that is that is stands for gauss okay and here in xgb this is a basic without replacement sampling okay so you can you can simply to keep it very simple you can you can consider it as a bootstrap all of you know you know what is bootstrap right so simple bootstrap some different kind of sampling different kind of sampling i have given you much details of what are these in the specific videos of these okay so what we have understood guys three key differences how trees are different how Uh, categorical variables are handled in a different way and how sample are created in a different way okay next few things to understand for you guys xg boost is oldest okay 2014 this one is after that which means light gbm somewhere around 2016 i think and cat boost is very new somewhere around 2017 okay why i am telling you this i will tell you in a moment but first let's try to understand this is kind of a open source uh, tiaki chain developed the basic gradient boost and then you know uh, there is a platform which handles xg boost open source only this is your microsoft light gbm and this is your russian google okay so yendex is the name of the company that has developed this yendex or yendex you can check it okay now why these dates are important is more old the algorithm is more community support you will have okay so if it is 2014 based algorithm obviously many people would be using many people would be facing issues and hence more community support light gbm better cat boost little less community support the reason for that is it's new number one and second is uh, it's kind of uh, russian uh, technology i would say or developed by russian organization so maybe not too widely accepted as a you know uh, not that much penetration as xg boost and light gbm okay now this algorithm is gaining lot of popularity cat boost we will check in the in the with the data now how it is performing okay so these are some of the key differences and uh, if i have to tell you which algorithm is best in what situations we don't know so without any delay let's go and see what are the important hyper parameters or how we can use these algorithm first of all so i am sharing my jupyter notebook guys uh, very first thing if you have not installed then pip install cat boost pip install xg boost pip install light gbm will work for you i have commented it okay so because i have that okay now i have a data here that is life expectancy data as you can see here uh, this will be let me show some 20 records so that it will be easy for you so it will show you some records from different countries okay so for afghanistan uh, what is the year what is the status of the country what is the life expect expectancy okay and then then some different different parameters so i wanted to take a data which is kind of diverse which is having little more information not some iris data and empty cars data okay so infant dates and uh, alcohol some percentage expenditure hepatitis all these things are there okay so what we will try to predict is life expectancy of the person based on all these things 
and as you can see there are some categorical variable in the beginning country year status so knowingly i have taken this data now let me go ahead and try to create a simple cat boost model here so if you can see here guys from cat boost import cat boost regressor and pool what is pool i told you in the cat boost video pool is nothing but an internal data structure of cat boost in which you can give your training you can give your uh, which is your categorical feature so just to see here x y i am creating i am splitting data in test and train and as you can see here pool train is equal to x train y train okay and categorical features are country year and status fine and pool test also you give the same information okay which are your categorical features once your pool train and pool test is created then you train your model on your pool train only so i am capturing the time here okay import time cat boost regressor i am initializing and as you can see there are many parameters that i can pass here guys see this there are many parameters that i can pass iterations learning rate depth l2 leaf model size border count many things i will come to this later but now i am running a plain cat boost regressor without any argument because the if you see the uh, cat boost paper or if you see the presentation from the from the creators right they claim that it does exceptionally good with the default parameter okay we will check now and now i am saying fit and predict this is the simple story and i am seeing the r squared okay let me try running this i had run once before so as you can see guys it is running here okay uh, it is running here see this this scroller is going up okay so one thing i want to tell you by default it will run 1000 iterations to start with okay so let it run and then we will see how it is coming out so it is running it is taking some 20 seconds and remaining 15 seconds more some 35 seconds last time when i ran some 35 to 40 range those many seconds it took okay so uh, just let it come and i am going to compare with the light gvm energy boost show you how it is coming so if you can see here guys r squared for cat boost is how much 98.33 okay running time is how much 37.73 seconds okay now let me take the same data and run on xg boost fine so as i told you in xg boost you cannot pass categorical variables directly see here i have passed categorical variables directly i am just saying to the model hey you know what these are my categorical variables that's all now model takes care of this but here what i am saying i can't say that because this is an xg boost model so if you see from line number 7 to line number 11 i am kind of fitting on transforming that to a level encoder and then that data i am passing and rest of the story you already know so let me run this and if you can see here it already ran it seems uh okay so r squared is how much 97.97 execution time is how much 0.70 okay seconds this is the story of your xg boost how much was here 37 in cat boost how much xg boost 0.70 not even one second okay and then we come to light gbm and try to run this with the same things and you see here light gbm is lightning fast as microsoft claims right 0.19 seconds accuracy 98.29 okay r squared so as you can see here uh, i no need to do any encoding in light gbm for categorical features i just need to say that uh, i just need to ensure that the data type of those columns are category types okay then light gbm will take and understand it so what you have observed till now guys with default parameter light gbm is giving highest it seems highest right 98.33 a uh, little little close to xg uh, cat boost not highest little close to cat boost but lightning fast how many times fast you see here right so it is like 37 and that is not even one not even 1/5th of one second okay so one first first level of things i want you to understand is how we can make cat boost faster okay and as i told you guys there are there are many parameters which you can tune here first parameter iterations is equal to none i will just make it 
some number okay so i will say here iteration is equal to as i told you 100 it takes uh, 1000 it takes by default let me say 100 okay and see how the time is reducing so it is running 100 times it will run now see execution time from 37 it came to 4.10 okay accuracy is not changed that much not that much of change okay this is only one uh, thing i showed you while running how you can uh, you know make it fast the problem with cat boost here in this case is uh, it is not very fast okay some people may argue that here your data size is small but it's not that small also guys see here uh, it's not that small see here 3000 uh, rows near to not very very small not like 100 records and all i'm running on so it is uh, uh, it is reducing now it is four if i make the number of iterations to 10 it will reduce further but what will happen to the accuracy we need to check here you see accuracy has dropped because model is not able to learn the pattern okay little bit so let us make the address 100 another thing what you can do here is you can decide the max depth of your tree as uh, so it is a symmetric tree let let's make it two only and see what happens right so if i make it two then 97 and 1.10 so little uh changing here and there right when I'm changing the parameters, okay? Uh, but what we have to understand is, CatBoost guys claim that their algorithms do exceptionally well with categorical data. So if you see here, line number six, which I had commented before, uh, DF is equal to country, year, status, life expectancy. What I'm doing here is, I'm subsetting my data on just categorical columns. So, Let's see here, guys. Uh, just categorical columns, country, year, status. Only these three columns I want to take and I want to predict and see what is happening, okay? So I'm subsetting here, as you can see, and then I'm running cat boost on the same parameters. Let's see what happens. Same parameters as we ran before. So previously we were seeing 97, 98%. Now we, we are seeing some 88.58%, okay? And other algorithms also I will run with the default parameters. I have not changed anything on uh, what should be my model parameters in XG boost, et cetera, okay? So let me run here. As you can see, accuracy does not drop significantly. It's 97.8, run time is fast, 16, 0.16. And let's see light GBM also. Light GBM is also doing good. And it's run time has dropped significantly as you can see guys. The reason is less data is going to training. So all the models uh, uh, training time should come down. And that is what is happening here as well, right? So uh, what you have observed till now, guys, uh, one thing you can observe is if you compare from various perspective, right? So uh, let, let me give you a few things. Ease of use. Ease of use means you no need to encode your data. You no need to uh, tell to the model how to perform means hyperparameter tuning. If you consider these things right, light GBM seems to be better than these algorithms, okay? But you have to consider some kind of community support, some kind of, if you if you get into an error, then you will be able to get a solution on internet or not. XGBoost is also a good candidate. Talking about cat boost, guys, I tried with the original data, I tried with only categorical features. I don't see a very significant uh, difference okay neither in terms of time neither in terms of uh, accuracy okay so what i'm thinking is maybe maybe for this particular data cat boost is not performing well so i leave it to you to try with some other kind of data where there are more categorical features for example in my in my data there is only three categories right uh, categorical features right I'll take a data with 20, 30 features and keep a target column and see how cat boost is outperforming those models. One thing that I want to tell you guys, uh, there is a very important uh, uh, parameter in cat boost that you should remember is uh, maximum number of uh, uh, one hot max size, something like that. Yeah, one hot max size. One hot max size tells to the model that uh, in a category, if there are, let's say, 100 different categories, 
then till what category it should considered as a different category or new category rest rest all the minimum occurring categories it will put in a new category obviously it will be by mode right so this one parameter you can tune and check how which which of this value is uh, you know giving you the best result and obviously i have created detailed video on grid search and randomized search both these methods you can use and run with different parameters here so to to sum it guys uh, when to use what right i have put here some point if you want a community support if you want performance and if you want to tune the model manually okay then go for xg boost if you are in a hurry to train you don't want to take much of tension you have the uh, you have the processing power you want to train your model go to light gbm performance is also good okay more categorical features you have gpu you have large data then go for the cat boost and see how it is performing but these are some of the pointers not the thumb rule okay thumb rule is you have to try with different models and see obviously so guys what are the key differences this is an interview question hence i am ins insisting on it more remember how trees are created is different how categorical variables are encoded is different how sampling is done is different and it is different at different different time and different different companies or people okay so this is all about this video guys i will put the note uh, notebook in my google drive you can access do some research and let me know uh, where you able to get the cat boost performing more than other, other two models right i'll be waiting for your answer guys write me in comment whatever doubts you have i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care